G'day guys, that guy Perps here, back with another music reaction video. I'm going to be jumping back into uh, Dimash, and I've only covered him once on the channel before, and people said I really need to check out SOS, I really need to check out SOS. The thing is, that was the first song that I ever heard from Dimash, and that's what put me onto the radar of how good of a singer this guy is. So, we can't do SOS, even though I absolutely adore that song, um, even, like, I, I've, I've heard it in, I think it's sung in French, um, I've seen the English subtitles, it, it doesn't matter how it's produced or how I see it, it always hits me, you know, it's always, it's just such a powerful song. Um, so instead, I thought we'd do one that I haven't heard, uh, which is Sinful Passion, um, and this is obviously from, uh, the... Moscow, uh, Moscow concert, um, 22nd of March, I don't know what year, um, a, a couple of years ago, or, or something like that, I think it said, um, but either way, it's Dimash, uh, Kudai Bergen, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, um, but everyone just calls him Dimash, as soon as you say Dimash, everyone knows who Dimash is, um, uh, he's that sort of well-known, renowned singer in the world now. Um, I know many reaction channels have covered uh, Dimash and have been blown away when, when he gets into his different octaves. Um, this man can sing, I think it's eight, eight different octaves, um, which is quite unbelievable. Um, and when, when you hear how, how clean those high notes are, um, yeah, a lot of the times it really and in the performance that he gives it really sounds like there's two different people when he because he's obviously in the song like with a lot of opera songs and stuff like that it tells a story and there's different people speaking and different elements so uh he has sung uh a part where uh in sos where it's sort of like the man then singing to the woman and the woman singing back to the man and he does raise his octave up and, and sing in a higher um a higher like it's not even a, a head voice sort of thing he just i don't know how he gets up there but he just he, he just seamlessly just flows through that through that range so um yeah without any further ado guys we're going to check out sinful passion um again if you do like the video uh, the reaction make sure to hit that thumbs up um, leave a comment down below of any other Dimash songs I need to check out. And uh, with that being said, let's get into it. Obviously a crowd favourite by how they reacted to Anyone can tell me what language this is, because um, if you didn't know, Dimash is uh, from Kazakhstan, and I'm not sure if he speaks a lot of languages. Um, generally, you know, I, I've, I've found that people will generally speak two or three, three or four languages um, when, when they're up in that sort of part of the world, just because their neighbors speak same as like in America when they live down near the Mexican border and Spanish is quite frequently used 
they just learn it and they pick it up as they grow up. So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm assuming with his classical training and all of that's how he, he's learnt the, the French and everything else. But I, yeah, I don't know what this, this language is. So if, if someone could let me know, that'd be great. But straight off, like he's, he's sort of talking, but. Now he's more singing. See what I mean? Like, it, it, this one too is really, yeah, like a, a male and female sort of part that, um, you know, and obviously sinful passions. So I'm assuming it has something to do with romance and, um, you know, maybe the guy are trying to, trying to court the girl or um, they're in a, a situation where they shouldn't be getting together um, and then... They're, they're sneaking off or something but it, it's definitely like when he was in that rule you know that first part of it it was yeah really low um and now just the ability for him to just you know uh go from being that that low tone to being that upper tone it, it could be two people like i need someone else he swaps hands <laughs> that little run Even the, even the computer couldn't handle it. <laughs> the computer's like, nah, nah, nah. So you can see, like, just those tones that he hits. And, like, when he fully starts getting into it, he, he even has to turn his head away from the microphone because he knows how powerful his voice is. There. What, what planet do you come from, Dimash? No way. So that, um, 
at, he's gone from this like operatic sort of just seamless in that high range and then that last thing that sounded like um like a like a tuvian throat singer um i've heard one band uh the who and they did this i think it was the wolf or something and yeah they do this thing and i've seen um a throat singer on one of the got talent shows before and it's this real like sort of not quite like that but obviously he does it a lot better but it's this real yeah it's like i don't know it's not traditional singing it's very um well it is traditional singing um but not western traditional it's not using the like not projecting your voice like so talking and then you know how you would sing to which is like talking it's really using the throat as an instrument um it's really hard to explain and i'm not doing a very good job of it but yeah i, I reckon um i might have to check out someone doing some throat singing um just yeah so i can try and explain like try no i won't explain it i'll just show you <laughs> And the control, right? That was more singing, but that. <laughs> Belt it out. We're going back. We're going to hear that run again. Like. <laughs> no! No! Such a performer as well. Just his stage presence as well. Like he he knows how good he is. Like you can just tell. Like he's like, yeah, I got this. I got this. I got this. But just that run, like. He took a little bit. He did the first bit, like um, where he where he belted out that note. He took one little, and then he went on that big run, and then he ran down, and then it was all over the place, and it just seemed like it went forever. Um, whew! Definitely different to the um, other one that we've had on the channel. Uh, some similarities in the style and stuff. Um, with SOS, uh, where he shows, not really in the, the style per se, but he just shows so much. <laughs> like, he just shows so much. Um, so, yeah, guys, what did you think of Dimash? Um, even if you don't like the song, I'm sure, you know, deep down in your heart, you can appreciate the talent that this man has. Um, yeah, and just, just the range, like... He's you know, so low and then all the way up to that 
that nearly that um, sort of squealy, screamy sort of note, but it was held cleanly, and he, he knew exactly what he was doing, and it was still singing. It wasn't just, I'm going to scream or whatever. I'm going to squeal. Um, yeah, he, he managed to hold it, and that, that just shows like a lot of dedication. Um, either that or he was born on some other planet and just inserted on Earth, and they all just have beautiful voices. But, um, no, nah, I dare say he's... You know, he's, he's trained all his life to, to master his voice like that. So, um, but yeah, let me know what you thought down in the comment section, guys. Um, if there's any other Dimash songs, as I mentioned earlier, just leave it down in the comment section or hit me up on Instagram. Uh, send me a message over there. It doesn't get lost in all the other messages that way. Um, yeah, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, guys, please consider coming across. Just hit that subscribe button, notification bell on all. And uh, love to have you part of the family. So that being said, guys, I'm that guy Perps. And until next time, I'll see you then.